Welcome to Eleven Labs Theater. I'm your host, Malcolm Betruger. So, Mr. Betruger? Dr. Betruger. I didn't spend six years in Phobos Hell Portal summoning and medical school to be called Mr. Thank you very much. Right, Dr. Betruger. What can you tell us about today's entry? This is the unraveling of an unintentional double date gone wrong. A tragic tale of love and shattered expectations. A brother who only wants the best for his sister, whether she likes it or not. This entry is called Resident Double Date. I'm so happy that you finally found someone to continue our bloodline with, Claire. Ugh, Chris, for once, could you not make this weird? You'll embarrass me in front of him. I'm only curious to know. Is he charismatic? Is he good-looking? Can he do flips? Does he have the twink boy haircut? Those are oddly specific. But he's pretty cute, and he's got my back. Perfect. I can rest easy now. Chris, thanks for being supportive about this. It really means a lot to me. No, Claire. Thank you. Chris, Claire, what's up, guys? Jill? Hi, Jill. What brings you by? I'm on a date right now. My boyfriend should be here shortly. That's great, Jill. I'm very happy for you, seeing that we're best strictly platonic friends in the whole world. Yeah. So, who's the lucky guy? Carlos? Parker? Josh? I think you'll like him. You might even know each other. He's suave, really handsome, knows some really great moves, and his hair. Oh, sweet Valentine's Day, his hair. Aha! So it is Carlos! Uh... I don't blame you. If I considered an extra option, he'd be my go-to as well. Well? Chris? Fancy seeing you here. There's the ultimate life form! Leon, come over here, my dude! You finally stopped chasing Amy, or chasing Ada in this case? Well, yeah. Didn't want to start thinking this way, but Ada's been playing hard to get with me for far too long. I'm having the best day of my life right now! I knew you would eventually see the way! Uh... That's cool, I guess. Ha ha ha, look at Mr. Modest over here. You're probably reliving the day you passed the Academy with high honors right now. Don't worry, I get it. Uh, Chris? Leon and I aren't dating. I'm sorry, what? He's not the one I'm dating. Wait, if you two aren't dating, then who is he- Oh, there's my Master of Unlocking. Hey, Leon. Uh, what's going on here? Yeah, we were gonna be here earlier, but I thought I'd help myself to a Jill sandwich, if you know what I mean. And I was in the mood for a Leon pancake. No. No! Ah! Ah! This is not how this was supposed to go! Jeez, break your hand on a boulder this morning? How could you do this to me? How could you leave my perfect bloodline to wither and die like a large mold monster? Don't give me that shit, Chris. You had your chance after the Tricell incident, but you told me women can't get other women pregnant and blew me off. We've been through this before, Jill. Unless you're a hermaphrodite, there's no conceivable way of you continuing the bloodline with Claire. Oh, always with the fucking bloodline with you. Hey, don't I get a say in this? Hey, what's with the screaming over there? Oh no, not Ethan. Oh, hi, Chris. I see all those steroids finally went to your brain. Whatever. At least I've stayed alive for more than two games. At least I managed to continue my bloodline. You molding son of a bitch! Ethan, right? Don't think we've ever met before. You must be Leon. I heard you were planning on giving German suplex lessons. Oh, he can do more than German suplex. I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh! You're the one feeling sick? Yes, I am, Claire. You two were supposed to continue the Redfield bloodline. Well, maybe that would have been possible. If someone didn't decide to play lapdog for the government and withhold B.O.W. secrets. Well, excuse me, little Miss Self-Righteous. Was I the one who tricked you with a call for dinner just so I could snatch that chip from you to inadvertently spread panic in the world? People deserve to know the truth. Like how I deserve to keep Albert Whiskers around for a while longer. Albert Whiskers was a distraction. Besides, he's doing just fine with Zoe Baker. Okay, first off, who the hell is Zoe Baker? Second, I deserve to be with who I want without you trying to turn me into a fucking broodmare. I can't believe how selfish you're acting right now. Oh yeah, I'm selfish. Like brother, like sister. Want to get out of here? Yeah, babe. I think Jack's bar is still open. Oh no you don't, you traitors! How could this get any more awkward? Oh my god. Unlimited breadsticks. Are you seeing this? No way. Oh, just great. Somehow Wesker returned. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, you eugenicist? Don't mind me. I've just come back from visiting my sister, Alex. I'm here for my daily breadstick fix. They've been filling that Ouroboros void that you, Chris, and Sheva severed. Wesker, you're pitiful. And you still don't understand. You know, it just hit me. I didn't even get the chance to ask you your date's name. Yeah, you didn't. 
You only assumed that I finally tied the knot with Leon. Well, at least we can suss out Wesker. So, is it someone from TerraSave? At the very least, you can tell me now. I'll attempt to rest easy. Okay. You remember that boy from Rockford Island? Rockford Island? Wait. Oh no, no. In the name of Spencer Almighty, you're not actually dating. Knock knock, my politically incorrect racial epithets. Oh, Steve. Isn't he great? I... I thought you were dead. I got better. Big ups to Wesker for cloning me too. Now that's pure evil. Pure resident evil. Oh, Steve, you charming dork. I immediately regret keeping Steve's body. Everybody betray me. I fed up with this world. Uh, is he gonna be alright? He does that. Hey, hey nice, nice haircut. haircut. Chris, the way I see this, I think we all have a choice. We can choose who we are, who we want to be, and more importantly, who we want to love. The kind of power that the singular need to continue a bloodline can't even surpass. And I, I choose breadsticks. Wesker, I was wrong. You're not pitiful and senile after all. I should go. I wonder if Sheva is still available. Oh, hi, Ethan. Want some breadsticks? Are they garlic-free? Lady Domitresk. I mean, Mia's been deathly allergic to garlic these days. Kind of like how your left hand is deathly allergic to everything else? You're one to talk, you hopeless romantic Canadian emo elf. Leave my man alone, mold dick. 